Sag, welcome to your Intimate Tarot reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to know why I read Intimate Tarot, specifically sexual energy, check out the description box, yeah? And if you're into it, if you get it, if you like it, let me know. Like, share, maybe subscribe. I appreciate you. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. What's going on, please? Show me that Sagittarian sexual energy, please. What's going on for Sag? Show me that Sagittarian sexual energy, please. What's up? What's going on? What's going on for Sag, please? Show me that Sagittarian sexual energy. Okay. What's, go what's going on there? Show me what I need to see, please, for Sag. What's up? What's going on? Take what resonates. Say what does not. If it's not your story. Don't force it to fit. Okay. Collective reading means collective application. It may or may not apply to you. All right. Pieces, chunks, none at all. In which case, check out the placements or I'll catch on the next one. All right. But yeah. That's it, really. It's quite simple. And then, of course, reverse energies as it applies. Always. What's going on? Show me that recent past. Show me that recent past, please, for Sag. <clears throat> Show me that recent past, please, for Sagittarius. What's up? Show me that Sagittarian sexual energy, please. Show me the archer. Show me the archer. Show me that archer, please. Recent past. Hmm. Show me that recent past. Seven of arrows. Doubt. Conflict. Possibly secrets. I don't always assume that with the Seven of Swords, nor should you. It's usually the withholding of our thoughts. So some of you with your sexual energy might have been withholding your true thoughts about your sexual expression with your person, about the situation, your sexual energy in general. Some of you felt the need to keep quiet about your true sexual energy. Okay, in regards to someone else, your thoughts just keeping them private. You know what I mean? Um, let me know if you're dealing with the Queen of Coin. You might have some Virgo Capricorn Taurus in your chart. But uh, having to keep those those thoughts kind of quiet and private, okay? All right, what's currently going on? What's the current sexual energy, please? We'll see why. We'll clarify, of course. What's the, okay. Ooh, energy picked up. It's a little more free now. It's a little bit more free. That's good. That's better. Right? Six of Wands. Confidence. Riding high in the streets of recognition. Feeling good like we're seen again. Like our sexual energy. Our confidence our ability to be ambitious and to go out the world and take shit on. That's what's being seen. Your energy is picked up, in other words. It's good. That's good. I like that. we got a confidence boost here. I like it. Okay. Who is surrounding Sag, please? Who is surrounding Sag? Who is surrounding Sag, please? Some of you exercise outside and it makes you feel good. Keep doing it. Absolutely. You exercise outside. People notice you. You get it. You get the recognition and it kind of feels good. That's not why you're doing it. But it still feels good, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Almost a little bit. That's for some of you. Who is... Okay. Ooh, let me know if you're dealing with Leo. Okay? Does not have to be. Could be Aries, Leo, or Sag, or that's just how their energy is. You don't even have to be a fire sign. It's just the idea of the ambition. You know, just ambition, passion. I know who I am. I know what I'm about. I know where I'm going. Right? That kind of commanding fire energy that we associate with the king and queen of wands. Oh my, yes. There's something here. I can see why your energy picked up. Show me the strengths, please. Sex relevant tarot. I don't care what I'm saying. Male, female, I don't care. Reverse the sexual energies as you see fit. It's about the spirit of the thing. Strengths, please. Show me strengths, please. Show me strengths, please. Show me the strengths, please, for Sag. Show me the strengths, please. Show me the strengths, please, for Sag. I like it, though. We got some good energy here. Oh, I don't read the baseline in the downright. That is my rule. The Nine of Swords, that's every tarot is different. This is my preference. I've been doing this a long time. I know it works for me. I do not read the baseline in the downright. But uh, for those of you, the interpretation would be the Nine of Swords in the reverse. In other words, you refuse to get yourself all twisted up about something. Okay. What's going on, please? Show me the strengths. Let's focus that, please. Show me Sag's strengths, please. Clarifiers, sure. Absolutely, I'll read those in the downright, but not the baseline. Show me the strengths, please. Show me the strengths for Sag. Come on. Come on. I'm calling bullshit on that. What are the strengths, please? Thank you. Some of you think your energy, your sexual energy, is way too strong. We'll see. Or 
you're very well endowed, in which case, good for you. <laughs> oh yes, there's a card in placement for everything, honey. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be a dick. So, so some of you are just really proud of your breasts. Okay. Like you have glorious titties and everyone knows it. Okay, it could be that as well. <laughs> I told you I was looking at a Sad who does take pride in their appearance and being seen and their physical. I, for those of you who identify, I think I understand uh, what it is that you're so very proud of. It's quite there. It's, it's, it's quite the thing. Um, so I know this says temptation. That's unfortunately how it's labeled in this deck. It really just means stuff. Okay. But yeah, some of you think your sexual energy is just tops. Your sexual energy is just tops. And it's under your strengths, too. It's like, yeah, I know what I'm good at. Thank you. <laughs> I know what I'm good at. Thank you very much. Or, like I said, you're well endowed. I'll know, but it's under your strengths. Okay. Um, you have a very strong understanding of what it is that would make you happy. Oh, good for you. A lot of people fuck up in relationships because they have the exact opposite knowledge, which is to say, not much. A lot of people don't take the time to explore their sexual energy. Now, some of you just think, you know, perhaps you have really good stamina, especially if you're a regular exerciser. Perhaps you do have a lot of stamina, honey. <coughs> but you block it. You block it. A lot, again, seven wands, physical discipline energy. Some of you take your exercise regimen very seriously. Very fucking seriously. Wow. Okay. Okay. Obstacles, please. Obstacles, 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 obstacles. Oh my goodness. Obstacles, please. Obstacles, please, for the Sag and this connection. Show me the obstacles, please. Six of Cups. Mm, being tied to the past. Old love, old memories. Mm. Do you feel like that gets in your way? Mm. Do you have a fundamental weakness for a love of the past? One that you might still be very sexually attracted to? Does not have to be. Show me the outcome, please. 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 Or perhaps you feel like your memories trap you. Queen of Wands. <sighs> Matching sweet energy. Triumph. Triumph. Congratulations. Oh, well. Some of you are saying goodbye to things where you no longer feel emotionally attached to it. The hair font is here signing off on that. Um, for some of you, a cycle is complete. You know? For some of you, a cycle is complete, or it's pending, or it's impending. Okay. Um, that cycle is simply complete, and you embrace each other goodbye. Okay. All right. That's for some of you, not all of you. I don't want to get into the backstory of it. This is already interesting as it is, so I don't want to deep dive right now. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. This is the Tarot of Sexual Magic, respectively. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. We got matching sweet energy. All right, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? This Seven of Swords in the recent past. Show me the Seven of Swords, please. Could be Doubt. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Secret thoughts about possessing someone's physical energy in this deck. It's different. Nine of Pentacles. That means I would love to get in there and claim that. But we kept it quiet. I want to get in there and claim that. Oh, but we kept it quiet. Or the secret thoughts about one's confidence. Nine of Pentacles, a classic interpretation could still apply. Some of you might have secretly doubted your physical competence. I don't know why. You seem to take a great deal of pride in that. So it could just be confidence in general if it's not the physical thing. <sighs> Let's keep going. Why? Where's where's this doubt coming from? What What, what is this? What? We just got a lawnmower? Well, it's a beautiful day. It was going to kick off at some point. Show me the Nine of Pentacles, please. What is this? Is it confidence or 
We have very strong feelings for somebody, um, but it's looking like we chose not to engage it because we know it cannot sustain their heart space, something like that. Queen of Cups with the Five of Cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, does not have to be. But as much as we would like to claim, okay, so that's where I'm leaning towards right now, doubts. As much as we would like to claim this person's physical energy, we know it cannot sustain their heart space with the Five of Cups or the Queen of Cups. Um, why? I don't know. But it's looking like, Sag, you knew you could not provide this person the emotionality that they desire. Um, they're loving. They're very embracing. And while there is that sort of physical interest here, the sexual interest, there is even a possessive quality. Like, I know this person's energy. I know this person's energy. I'm even a little bit possessive of it. In some ways, you do consider it to be yours. Okay, there is a signature tied to it that says, I know this person's energy, and I, I know them well. And I would like to know them in that way, but I can't responsibly take ownership of it. Okay, particularly where the heart space is concerned. So I do believe you might have broken somebody's heart as much as you enjoy them. And there is, there is. There's this idea of I know that person I know their signature, their emotional signature, their energetic signature, and I think well of them. They're the Queen of Cups, I do, but I can't responsibly take ownership of it. Um, so we kept it quiet with the Seven Swords. I enjoy this person's, or I'd like to enjoy this, let me know if you're done with Scorpio, that's heavy Scorpio energy. Um, I enjoy this person's, I would like to enjoy this person's physical energy, but I can't, it would just cause heartbreak or something like that. So you know that you could not emotionally provide for them what it is that they wanted. Um, especially if perhaps you were just in that arena of, I'm not interested in anything like that. Okay. Uh, so you kept it to yourself. It does feel kind of quiet to me. It does feel quiet. Okay, the current is your six of wands. Current sexual energy is, you know, we have some conflict. Ah, oh, there's the conflict though. Your outward confidence is picked up. Your mental energy is different. Your mental energy is, there it is again. There it is again, double. But you could be dealing with Capricorn. Water energy as well. You can't, the mental rumination here, the Eight of Swords, mental binding, can't get out of our head. Your outward confidence, your physical confidence, you feel good. Again, I keep getting that physical aspect. I'm looking at a Sag who really, your body is so very important to you, and you really run it like a machine. Um, that's so important to you. Your personal energy is very important to you. But there's this Eight of Swords that's holding you back from moving your energy on. What's this Eight of Swords? I'm going to go ahead and take a guess it's this person, but I could be wrong. What's got you up in your head? The manifestation. Are, am I still manifesting them? Because you still, like I said, there's a possessive quality here. Not possessive bad. It's like possessive positive. That means like, I have a special relationship with this person. I know them. I know them. I have a special relationship with this person. I know them and I know I can say that. And their energy is beautiful, but I can't claim it. So I'm trying to be responsible. I'm not going to engage their energy. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to engage this person's emotional energy. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fucking do it. Oh, but it feels good, don't it? It feels good to be loved by the Queen of Cups, to know that this person, they also heavily romanticize you, by the way, but you already know that. Um, the Nine of Pentacles here, I know this person, god dang it, I know them, and duh, you know you could if you wanted to, I guess is my point. The frustration here is real. I mean, really, they should just mow my damn lawn, they're right out there. Anyway, we're still manifesting this person, I do believe. We're conflicted about it. We try not to think about it. We try to shut that shit down, right, with the Eight of Swords. We try not to think about it, but guess what? As soon as I say white elephant, what are you going to think about, right? We're still manifesting them. I think you're not trying to, but you are, and it's kind of powerful. It's strong. So let me see this person is the King of Wands. Let's see what this is about. I'm not convinced it's this person. Show me this King of Wands, please. Show me this King of Wands, please. 
Show me this King of Wands, please. Is the person surrounding Sag? Okay. Show me this King of Wands, please. Show me this King of Wands. My hand just got really stiff right there. Show me that King of Wands, please. For the person surrounding, for the person surrounding Sag, please. Okay. Page of Wands. What else? What else? What else about this King of Wands? Page of Cups. Communication. But. But what? What? What about it? What about it? This is either the same person, and they are a water-fire combo. Okay. They're still surrounding you, energetically speaking, because you two are still talking. It's not a lot, and it's not frequent. At all. But it's there. Or, this is someone else altogether. Could this be Leo? And the passion isn't there, and the heart space isn't there. That's ridiculous. The king should not be pulling two pages. So either the person that immediately surrounds you, which would explain why you kind of rejected this energy. You know you can't responsibly claim it if you're in a relationship. And it is likely with this King of Wands person, but the passion's not there and the feeling's not there. Whereas this person represents a strong kind of idea of both. You know that they have desirous feelings for you, that kind of thing. Um, you know they do. And you can't stop thinking about it. You're not trying to manifest them, but you, you are. Okay. Um, you can't get them out of your head. Again, reverse energy says it applies. People get so offended when I say you, which is so fucking stupid. I do the real shit. Real terror reflects real life. I'm looking at a real sad here. So if you can own it, if this is you and it speaks to you, then fucking put it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're here. I'm here to do the real shit. If you're looking for butterflies and cozy shit and stuff that's not complicated, there's plenty of other... There's a whole world on YouTube just for that, okay? But that's not what you're going to get over here, okay? So if you identify, you let me know. But then again, also reverse energy as it applies. There you go. Um, so who's who in this, I don't know. It could be that, yes, if they've already... If you've already rejected this person, okay? Be it with your physical or emotional energy, they could still very well be a king. It's just you two are... There's very little communication between you two because you haven't really given each other up. You know you can't claim their heart space. Despite the fact that there is a possessive quality to this person, I know that it's almost, I don't want to say covetous, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's more like, um, well, maybe it is. There's a certain pride. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. There's a certain pride in knowing this person. I don't know how else to put that. You have a certain level of confidence with them that... that you just, that you know is specific to you. I don't know how else to put that. Um, but anyway, so the disconnect isn't fully complete. There's still a juggling aspect here with that Two of Pentacles of communication. So there's still a high-ranking person. They're a king, they're a queen. Again, sex is irrelevant and you two have bare minimum communication, or this is someone else whom you are know on the full-time level, and there's so little, there's so little fire, it's literally two pages. It, there's so little fire and water between you two. And you kind of go back and forth doing the same shit with them. Um, so that would explain why you rejected this person, but not really, you're still manifesting everything that they know they can give you. Okay, let's let's do this. The strengths then temptation. So I mean, you know, good for you. <laughs> good for you if that's what you can identify with. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at some side somewhere that's well endowed. Okay, in which case, good for you, honey. Or again, it's like you know your sexual competence is on point. 
like you know like this is this is known like this is this is not in dispute like you know <laughs> show me the devil please for your strength show me the devil please for okay like you fucking you know and you know and then you know some more it's not even joke oh honey i'm looking at a very competent set honey good for you <laughs> the lovers over the devil dear me and then also I'm looking at a sag that you're very aware that this is unrequited love. All jokes aside. All jokes aside, it's unrequited. And I know that because the lover's over the devil. Almost always means. I'm not going to say 99.99% of the time. But I am going to say 97% of the time. <laughs> which is still pretty damn high. Unrequited. It's under your strengths that you're aware of it. There you are. That's literally you holding back from a very powerful connection. You know. I'm sorry, honey. That's your card with the Four of Pentacles. You're literally holding back from what you know is unrequited love. I'm sorry. You know you couldn't give this person what they wanted. It's not that you don't want to, you very much want to. And you can't give them what they wanted. They have a full heart space and it's already kind of has pain in it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a guess there's rejection here or regret or something. You're still manifesting them because you can still feel it. You've accepted it, so that's good for you. You're not in denial about it, so that's also good. Nothing inhibits us and prohibits our growth so much as denial. So you're very aware. You, under you understand this is unrequited love. You know how strong it is. You accept it. Okay. All right. Obstacles is the Six of Cups. It's either the person you have that no longer you've... I'm not saying no longer. It's just diminished. It's diminished. I don't know who I'm about to see. This is a multi-layered bond system. If you've been around my channel, you've heard me say it before. Uh, it's a multi-layered bond system. It already has the two and six built into it. This could be someone else whom you are tied to, but has those diminished feelings for. Okay. What's going on, please? What's the six of cups? Show me. Show me the six of cups, please. Is the obstacle. Show me the obstacle, please. Okay. Okay. Four of Wands. It's the household energy. What else plays personal happiness? House, home. The person we identify with home is the obstacle. That's what I'm getting. What else plays under that obstacles? No. What else plays under the obstacles? Two of Cups. Hmm. Goodness me. Oh. Who would be, be happy with the two, the six? I know I've got soul bond energy here. This one calls to me, and I can't quite give them up. More to the point, you don't want to. But you also know you can't give them what they want. Oh, fuck, honey. Who will you be happiest with, the two, the six? Soul bond in both. You feel your love is a weakness for either, really. You feel your love is a weakness. You, oh, excuse me, I am starving. <sighs> At some point, somebody's relationship got valued, devalued to friendship or... I don't know. You might be insisting on calling this person a friend. You know it's not, so I'm defaulting that it's, again, the home energy, simply because I'm looking at a Sag who is very aware that this is unrequited. So, of course, they're not going to be a friend. 
this person over here. They might have a strong head, fiery heart, ambition, but their fire and water is so small. Can I get a better sense of the obstacle, please? That's the home person. They, you haven't been on the same page with them in a long time. I'm defaulting to home person because the empress and emperor can often be single individuals in their own right. They're so powerful as people, they don't need to be in partnership with somebody else. But when they are in a relationship context, it's almost always 100% of the time the, the main, the other. The person who holds a high place above the mantle. Um, it's not that they're any less important to you. It's, it's just obviously the love isn't the same. And it's like um, we haven't been on the same emotional page in a long time. It's what keeps you in check. It's what keeps you in place. And if you have Taurus and Libra in your chart, it could be those aspects of yourself are holding you back from being your most productive self as well, so please do not forget that. So if you have those placements, uh, Mercury, Venus, rising, um, one of the major moons, oh, uh, one of the major placements, excuse me, it could be that you are holding yourself back as well, okay? Um, despite the fact that we are not emotionally harmonized like we used to be. It literally, under the obstacles, is the nostalgia for love of the past, okay? Remembering how things used to make you happy. How you used to have a two of cups with this person. Like I said, they're no less important to you. But it's not the same. Show me the queen of wands, please. It could be a double reflection of this person. Show me. Show me the queen of wands, please. Show me the queen of wands. Show me the queen of wands. I can see your conundrum. I do. And I see what you did. I understand it. I get it. We do the real shit around here. You know. What happened is what happened is what happened, honey. It's a very strong connection, and, um, okay. You're fighting with yourself. You. Temperance. That's you. Fighting with yourself. About taking off, being the fool. Will you allow it? Will you allow it? Or will you fight yourself? Will you try to force yourself to accept the situation? So that Queen of Wands then is you. I would like to know what it, you still don't know. You're open with the Seven of Swords and you're closing with it. You anticipate for one day for yourself to know. That's all I, that's all I have. Until then you keep quiet. You fight yourself. Your seven of swords. You keep these thoughts to yourself. They're private. Obviously, they would be. Um, can I see anything more conclusive, please? I hate it when it ends like this, but this is real life. Answers aren't always immediate. It takes time. Hence, temperance. But you fight yourself. You know, your doubts are so strong. Obviously, this person's important to you. Obviously, this person's important to you. It didn't happen, though. It didn't happen. You kept that quiet. You kept it private. But I, I insist. I insist, honey. I insist. You're still manifesting them. It's very strong. It's very strong. Show me what else, please. Can I get something more conclusive? A decision will be made in time. Queen of Swords. A lot of this is buried under your moon energy. Okay. About what you're currently experiencing with your person versus what it is that you want. It's, it's way there under your moon energy. It's going to take some concentration for you to dig in there and figure out exactly. Okay. Some of you, you're being hit with your hardest thoughts now in Virgo season. It's going to take time. It's going to take time before you feel like you are more resolved because right now in the future or the outcome I don't see you being resolved so much as in I'm just going to keep my thoughts to myself at this time. 
there's times when you feel really impatient with yourself, you fight yourself. I logically know what to do. Logically, I know what to do. Logically, that's true. Logically, you do know what to do. Emotionally, you do not. Um, I wish I could see something more substantial, but you have to trust that you will take time. I'm sorry, that you will take action in time. Okay. Damn it. I went over on yours as well. What does this person feel? I don't know that this is helping you at all. You just seem to have an acute awareness of this person's feelings and how you do not want to hurt them. That they are in fact very loving, very naturally. They also have a very strong romantic streak to them. Um, a kind of sense of tragic loss surrounding their energy. That's one of the reasons that makes them so appealing is that they're... I don't know. How does this person feel, think about Sag? How does this other part, the unrequited, the unrequited love, the unrequited love, unrequited, the unrequited, the unrequited, page of pentacles, why, so small, so small, page of pentacles, eight of swords, they try not to think about you, but fail. They try not to think about you. They dismiss their thoughts or try to. Go away thoughts, go away thoughts, go away thoughts, and they fail. They try to be very strong. Let me know if you're dealing with Aries. And then, but um, there's the lovers again. They try not to think about you and fail. Um, they're very hard on themselves with the Emperor energy here. Very hard on themselves. Don't think about them. Don't think about them. Don't. And that's, they fail. Like I said, as soon as I say white elephant, what are you going to think about? So they're very hard on themselves, um, they're very disciplined, they expect more from their thoughts, they try to keep their thoughts in check, okay, and it always starts with the smallest thing and then they can't stop thinking about you. So one little thing that reminds them of you, and that's when the tangent of their thoughts goes, you have a very similar process with that eight of uh, swords. You try to discipline it too, but in your own way. Um, they feel like they, they just, they try to rein in their thoughts of you, but then they fail. Because you're right there on the brain, too. They pull lovers in reflection. Okay. All right. Do we have any sort of timing here in terms of resolution? Do we have any sort of timing here? Any sort of timing here? Okay. King of Pentacles. Uh, like I said, for some of you, it's now in terms of the harvest. Um, uh, Taurian energy, so also, so that may not, so even though King and Queen of Pentacles are often associated with the fall, again, harvest, uh, this is my abundance, okay, these are my resources, uh, also not till Taurian season, season, excuse me, so that would be late April to late May, um, for some of you, two weeks, okay, what else, please, more of this resolution, there it is again, quite possibly, like, not till I said till April, Emperor Card of Aries. Any other time markers, please? Oh, Ace of Wands for some of you. It's very soon. Could very well be at the start of the new year. Yeah. Okay. For some of you, yeah. Your expression of love will become, or your desires or your feelings will become much stronger around April, May. And for some of you, that expression will be very strong or prevalent or overwhelming around January. Okay, until then there is a disconnect here between you two. All right, and then again, representation of five, again, more Taurian energy, so the time of Taurus. All right, let's throw some charms. Oh, geez, Louise, oh, sad. Trust, you two have a fair amount of trust with each other, whether it be with this person or this one, I do not know. But uh, there's also this willingness to trust the universe Okay, but uh, trust is paramount with this person. I do believe it's this one. The infinity loop, it just seems to go on forever without any sort of resolution. Yeah, well, with unrequited love, it's always going to feel like that. There is a romantic notion. I typically say, hey, if you're from France. But with this, I'm getting the, uh, the romantic notion from that person. We've got V, N, W, J, K, R, Owl, Q. Again with the Q. Okay. Oh, feather, air sign, guitar, 
or really into music. Some of you might be in band, some of you might uh, casually play the guitar, somebody has a kid. K-R, and then um, a cat, femininity, feline. Somebody has a cat, spots, possibly an, a pet in general with spots on it. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful to you, Sag. I'm sorry it was so difficult, but um, it's also very powerful. And you know it. It's literally under your strengths. So I can see why it hasn't left you. It hasn't left them either. You know? I think that's where that trust is stemming from. It's like you both know. Okay. All right. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.